On today's ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show, pop-up text, deleting videos, online small groups, and queuing video. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I answer your church tech questions. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So our first question today comes from uh, Camille Hargit 3 on YouTube in response to my tutorial creating a scrolling text ticker for ProPresenter 5. She says, I don't want it to scroll. I want it to pop up and then I remove it when I want to. My answer to that is there's a feature in ProPresenter 5 and ProPresenter 6 that handles that. It's called Messages. So that's what I would do is I would uh, create a message that you send in at the appropriate time and take out at the appropriate time. Easy one. Next question uh, from Learning Sound Theology on YouTube. How do I remove videos from ProPresenter 6? So it's actually not all that hard. It's just all the steps. Just Basically, you select everything that you want, right-click on it, select delete, and then tell it you want to actually delete it. And if you want to delete it altogether or just from ProPresenter. So you have those options. Next question. JBEID on YouTube asks, looking to do an online Bible study, life group, cell group type thing, hangouts, other thoughts? Well, You've got some options. Uh, Hangouts would work because that's going to be two-way. You might run into some issues with lag and stuff like that. If it was just one-on-one, then Skype is a great option. If you want to do kind of a teach with people typing back and forth, then Facebook Live is a good way to do it as well. So those are a few of your options. If you just want voice, though, there are different services that do basically conference calls. And that might be better if the people that you're dealing with aren't as techy as uh, others. So those are all possibilities for you to do, um, just depending on what you're trying to accomplish. And finally, DDIE Grossa, which I suppose was probably Eddie Gr- and. Just a guess. Okay, anyway, uh, on YouTube, in response to my Pro 5 remote app tutorial, says, can I use it to queue video? The answer is, it depends on what you mean by queue video. If you mean, can I watch a video before I show it on the main screen with the remote app? No, you can't. If you mean, can I start the video from the remote app? Yes, you can. So, that's just all of it. We have there. So, did that answer one of your church tech questions? If not, just ask it below the video. No big deal. Another good way to do it is to subscribe to my email newsletter by going to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. And then when you get an email from me, just hit respond and you can ask your question there. Either way works. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Do you think I'm going to tell you to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be notified and join the contest that I've got coming up? Yeah, you're right. So why aren't you doing it? Like now. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you.